Wosofo7920 at Madotso.com returning to my coin lady channel, I want to say hello to all of you. Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple, sprung a major surprise on the world recently. He actually said that, and I believe it warrants our full attention because of how significant it is. We can see that they are just subjective opinions if we glance at this latest video clip. Add it to X. The BIS, which stands for Cross-Border Payments Interoperability and Extension Task Force, includes Ripple among its members. A foundation for cheaper and faster international money transfers has been established thanks to the interconnection of the instant payment systems of five different central banks. The five most important central banks in the world, those of India, Malaysia, the Philippines, Singapore, and Thailand, are all closely associated with Ripple. Seriously, I'm almost certain that you can discover at least two or three connections to each of these names if you do a little research and check them up with Ripple. But a video is available here. I am unable to play that video. Point zero forum is the source of this. This is in conjunction with the BIS, and I also think that. Hello, this is Trao and Bankos. Here you can find the Philippine Central Bank. During a panel discussion with global policymakers at PZF 2024, highlight the tangible benefits that the BIS Innovation Center's Project Nexus has delivered to consumers. We are working in tandem with both the public and commercial sectors to construct this new financial system. Do you recall the true nature of something in relation to any significant innovation from the past? I think it's important to keep in mind that, yes, Ripple is collaborating with the BIS, the central bank of central banks, they are working together, if we're paying close attention to what Ripple is doing and the connections it has. Ripple is a member of the BIS's cross-border payments, interoperability, and extension task force, which is the first thing that comes to mind when we hear about electronic payments and all these big advances. Sure, I'd want to come over here too. Last year, this happened on July 9th. This was done prior to Ripple's involvement with the BIS. I can tell you that. And there's no proof of that either. Working together to bring improvements to the payment system, this is what we had at last year's Point Zero Forum. This is being hosted by the BIS, who have been representing Ripple for a few weeks now. The Monetary Authority of Singapore, MAS, is actively engaging in open dialogue with the business sector to advance the digital asset ecosystem, which is highly encouraging. I stated that although retail is still preoccupied with meaningless details, I am determined to keep my attention on the powerful connections occurring in the background. The utility assets referenced in IMFB's World Bank documents, such as those, are my wager. I also have a lot of faith in the other players. While utility is and always will be paramount, a regulatory purge of the space junk is in order before we can focus on improving space links and networking. Massive players in the global system are putting this tech through its paces. The timing is just right. Many people are oblivious to how quickly things are changing. The Kemi Gang is the center of attention in this film, though I won't spoil things for you. Regarding DLT, the BIS Bank of England reached a Conclusion Digital Ledger Technology, Settlements Finish the CBDC experiment with the Bank of England utilizing blockchain technology. All the way back to 2023, I was making some wild guesses using a Ripple proof of concept. It has come to light that Quant was involved with the BIS. We are aware that they conducted another study with the BIS. You should know that the Kemi Group did not mention Ripple at this time. Based on what we know now and what we knew then, it seems very clear that Ripple is involved in the new financial system with many players, including the BIS. Of course, Brad Garlinghouse is also here for our private meeting. You can see the IMF, the DTCC, Fast MAs, and the head of the fintech office of the Bank of Indonesia over on the right. I mean, this list is absolutely endless. These meetings are now more important to me than they have ever been. I still pay attention to them, despite their age, or the fact that Brad Garlinghouse was on stage alongside Ross Lecco of the International Monetary Fund. I also mentioned that, upon seeing this video, it becomes abundantly evident that Ripple has triumphed. If you ask most people, the video is either old or doesn't amount to much. 
The same people who claim that secret meetings with World Bank officials and other members of the global elite are meaningless also make this claim. Ripple and XRP are mentioned in multiple documents from reputable organizations like as the World Bank, the BIS, and the IMF, among others. What this means is that Ripple and XRP are the only cryptocurrencies mentioned in most of these documents. Think of it as guesswork. Whatever you choose to call it, XRP is going to play a significant role in the reorganization of our global system. About 46 seconds of it. I'm sure many of you are familiar with this old clip, Brad's remarks, and his light-hearted banter about the International Monetary Fund's crypto holdings. Another thing that keeps popping into my head is how this could possibly be a business chat between two complete strangers. No, it seems like these are two people who are so familiar with one other that they're simply making jokes while performing. Their bond appears to be far more profound, you know. All indications are that they have been holding secret meetings. They've been discussing many matters. Furthermore, I have faith that Brad Garlinghouse possesses the knowledge necessary to address numerous inquiries. On top of everything else, keep in mind that this year, there will be a swell event, the Ripple Swell. Brad Garlinghouse was here in 2018. Taking an active role in collaborating with regulators is crucial. We convened in secret. Notifying several New York-based central banks of Ripple's activities accounts for 20% of its use, while facilitating communication between them accounts for the remaining 80%. Thank you for watching my channel and for subscribing. I'll see you later.